As we've seen over the past couple of weeks, disaster can strike at any given moment and being prepared is the key to surviving. From hurricanes, Harvey and Irma, earthquakes and wildfires. This year has put a lot of families from coast to coast to the test. I was news reporter Lexi Wilson met with the Red Cross to talk about evacuation kits. Lexi. That's right, Dave. I spoke with Megan Hughes, the Red Cross disaster manager, who showed me what was in her own evacuation kit. And while natural disasters bring suffering and destruction, being prepared will make it easier. And if you're told to evacuate, then do so. When a natural disaster is about to happen, authorities could tell you to evacuate. You'll have literally just minutes to leave the house. Megan Hughes, Red Cross Disaster Program Manager, says it's important to have an evacuation kit handy so you can leave at a moment's notice. And in that time, you know, you won't have uh, much time to make decisions on what's a good thing and what's a bad thing to bring with you, so it's always important to be prepared. One day you might find yourself in an emergency with only minutes to prepare. So now's the time to put together your go bag. You should have a first aid kit. A little radio or a flashlight, a whistle so you can, uh, like if you happen to be stranded somewhere, you can whistle to get uh, the attention of the authorities. Awesome. Uh, Band-aids, some gauze, uh, vinyl gloves, uh, tweezers. Flashlight. Handy dandy flashlight because I'm all, all about having light. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a lantern just because that flashlight isn't enough. And snacks with protein. One thing that you do want to remember with your snacks is they are perishable, so you need to uh, go through your kit every now and again, make sure your snacks aren't being outdated. Other important items you should include are water, a change of clothes, personal identification, a copy of important documents, extra cash, and family contacts. But don't forget irreplaceable items like family heirlooms or photographs. <laughs> the evacuation kit can also have items to keep you entertained. I don't have the poker chips, but we have the deck of cards. Right. It should be easy to carry. Hugh says that you can tailor the kit to your liking. It varies by person and what you may actually want or need. Um, and that way, you know, having, having at least thought about it in advance, you'll be that much more prepared should the time come. Most of these items are inexpensive and easy to find, and any one of them can save your life. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed. Since you don't know where you will be when an emergency occurs, you can keep your kit at your home, in your vehicle, or at your work. A typical go bag should last for at least 27 hours. Reporting in studio, Lexi Wilson, Eyewitness News.